Welcome back to the web browser tutorials and first I want to reply to some of the comments you guys left in the previous video I'm gonna be quick but if you want to skip it I will leave the time code in the description so you can skip this part Okay, first of all, a lot of people were confused on why would you want to get a web browser inside Godot and an excellent way of thinking about this is that you can host your website with news, for instance. Let's say you have a program with some updates and you want to display those updates inside the game itself or the program that you're making. So you can keep a website in a server and just keep pushing your updates there as HTML and then use that HTML inside your game. Another use for this could be you know maybe making players able to create some levels and reading those levels from a website you know um, I created a game which basically reads the folders of your computer and generates a level kind of like a Castlevania uh, you could potentially create a game like this but just surfing the web you know each website could be like a different level depending on the elements that you have so Every time you have a technology like this, the limit is basically your imagination. So why am I making this? Just because we can, right? Like that's why we make all this. Um, I also wanted to make a shout out to Andrew. Uh, he built a program which is very similar to this one. He's also a Patreon, so I'm really thankful. I will leave a, a link to the tutorial uh, on how to make an RSS feed uh, reader which is really really cool and I really recommend it and yeah some other users here on reddit commented which is something really cool uh, that there is an SQL plugin for Garot so if you are looking to get into more like database stuff with your programs you can do that using this plugin and now let's just jump to video okay so we have our program here like we had it in the last time and now we want to start taking the information outside of the request into data that we can manipulate. In HTML, we have things which are called tags. And I'm not going to do a, like an HTML tutorial, but they look something like this. So um, body and I, everything inside this content is the body. So you have just the opening part of it and the closing part of it and inside those is where you get all the information you need uh, to render your website so for making it easier to read those kind of values i'm going to create a function which is going to specifically read the content of a tag that way i can start navigating uh, every element and getting the content i want if you see here on the website like when it loads like the title of the window is still web browser but on the page itself, there is a title tag with, which has Godot Engine, Free Open Source 2D, 3D Game Engine. This is a very long title, by the way. But yeah, uh, so what I'm going to do now is get the information from inside this tag, the title tag, and get it into the web browser title. So let's create this function. Get tag or for the javascript guys over there just inner html which is more similar to what you get in just plain javascript um so first i want to know which tag i'm going to be parsing so what is the name of that tag and the other thing i will need is the html like the entire document okay the entire document that we have so this is like just a string with the content okay i'm gonna write pass now so we don't get the error okay this is not the best way of doing it but i think it's the easiest one even if it's confusing uh i'm going to use regex regex is a way of finding text and getting results from a long string so for instance if you want to find each word like we're doing right now of a tag instead of a longer string you would use it uh, to match so with regex you create a very complex and very weird string that will magically search your te the text for you if you want to understand a little bit better how regex works i recommend you this talk which is great for understanding it and it covers all the basics you need for now i'm just gonna go with something that i prepared before for myself in other program that i'm working and yeah i'm gonna go with it 
And before you want to ruin us all the fun, yes, I am aware regex is not the best way to parse HTML. There's a very funny answer in Stack Overflow, uh, just talking about some of the cases and some of the problem you might have. Uh, so I will encourage you to read it. As with all the things I'm recommending in this video, you have the links in the description. So yeah, let's continue. Let's just ignore that. We just want to have fun with this program, okay? Don't be so serious. Okay, bar. Let's see, we're gonna get now the regex, red x new. This is how we start our instance. Uh, as of course, as with everything, you can control click it, and you have every like, like you have the description here um, of how it works. And I haven't read this one actually, but I invite you to do it. And if you find any problem, you can always submit some changes to the cutout documentation okay and now i'm going to use the compile method and it's going to be the start the tag that we want to search and now all this nonsense and again it's a lot to go over for a tutorial so i won't keep you with it but if you're interested be welcome to check it out And by the way, this might be super wrong, okay? If you have a better version, just leave a comment and I'm really interested to know a better way to do this. Even though I know this is not the optimal way, I want to get your opinion. Wow, I cannot talk and type at the same time. Okay, so here's what we have. And now that we compile it, I want to get the result, which is... Now that we have like, what are the things that we are looking for, which basically is something like the beginning of the tag, the end of the tag, and I want to get everything inside of it. So now I search in the HTML that we sent to this function. And if we get a result, because sometimes you might not get anything, we're going to return a result get string and I'm gonna replace now the tag because the results that we will get from this will also include the tag and I want to replace it just with an empty space and I'm gonna do the same my god this is begging for so many comments but hey it works. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, I always forget. Okay. So now we should get the result. And what happens if we don't get anything? Like it, it will like the program will get an error and I don't like to have many errors like closing my program. So I will add just a default value which you can call, you know, like every time you look at this uh, function, uh, since I'm already adding a value here, it's optional. So if you don't provide it, it will be just nothing by default. So if there is no result, I'm just going to return the default, default value that we set. Let's try it out. When we do the request completed, we get all the text, which is this. So let's save it as the HTML so that way we can use it several times we are going to set our view with the HTML and now I want to let's see let's print and now inner HTML and the tag that I want to get is the title remember it has to be a string the HTML is the same variable and the default I don't want it. Just just give me anything you get. Okay, let's try it out. And let's see if I get the print here like the, the title. Okay, it never said this. I'm gonna set it to the main. Okay. Get the website and yes, the content of the title tag, which is there. I have it here. Seems like I failed on replacing the end of the tag because I did it like in the opposite way. Uh, so that should do it. Let's try it out again. 
and we get the title so i want to change now the title of our window with the title of the website let's do it here remember we can use os set window title and now we can use this part here so we are setting the title to whatever the website is let's try it out and it works uh let's try to i don't know let's see if wikipedia works wikipedia let's go and we get the title here wikipedia whenever we have all this ready you can also like set like you don't you don't have to set the title of the window right if you have an updater and you want to have several tabs with different websites you can do that uh, with the tab view but for now I think you get the idea of how you can get some websites content. There's a bunch of things here that you don't really have to see. Everything which is contained inside the head tag, that should be hidden from the user. So another thing that I'm going to do right now is remove the, the head part of the document. Well, in instead of removing the head, <laughs> I'm just going to get the body okay, of the website. A, a website is composed by an HTML tag. Inside there's a head tag and a body tag. The body tag is the things that the user uh, sees. So here, instead of making the rich text label showing all the HTML, I'm going to get only the content of the body tag. Let's see how it looks. Now we get the Godot engine website and it failed. Why? Let's see. Okay, so I'm opening the website from Firefox and you can click here on view page source and we get the source here. And as you can see here, they did it. They don't have a body tag for this website. So we run into our first problem. Many websites have different syntaxes, okay? We know we are dealing with HTML5 because of the doc type here. But, you know, you can write these kind of documents in very different ways and it doesn't have to be perfect. The web browsers that we have already, they are equipped to deal with all these kind of cases and even if you don't have that tag over there it will know that this is the head and the rest should be the body um, so moving forward since this website wait what there is a body there where is the start oh no <laughs> well maybe they forgot but yeah since this website doesn't have like the proper structure i'm gonna search for one that it does to to keep doing that let's search for another website i found a website that many of you may know uh and this website does have like just a plain and simple body tag so i'm gonna use this as an example okay it's news.ycombinator.com okay so i'm gonna replace the default website with this one and let's see if now our uh inner html thing works and we can see the content of the Okay, yeah, it works. Yeah, I'm only getting the, the body of, of the website, which is great. As you can see, the input, the line edit is not updating to the value that we have here on the ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the default URL value, which is going to be this one. And I'm gonna get the container line edit and the text is going to be the default URL. That way, whenever I modify this one, I know that our element will be updated as well. Let's try it out to see if it works. Yes, it works. Okay, we have here Hacker News, which is the name of the website, and we have this information here. Okay, uh, that's it for today. I'm, I'm going to try to make them a little bit shorter but more regular. Uh, sorry for the upload schedule, it's been crazy, but I really want to thank all my Patreons for their help. Uh, I've been having issues with my microphone, uh, so I'm trying to sort that out. I hope that this recording is working properly. If not, if you heard some noises in between, that's why. 
but yeah, uh, thank you very much everyone for all your comments. It, it's been great. Yeah, I really want to thank again my patrons and if you want to contribute, there's a link in the description. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.